Hey everyone, welcome back to Kesal. I'm Taslim. If you are new here, this is where we dig into tools and tech that make your projects easier and more fun. Today, I'm excited to share something I've been testing, the ES Welder MiG 205 DS Pro. It's the Microsoft Welder that combines with MiG, stick, lift stick, and gasless flux for welding, all in a single compact unit. Whether you are a weekend fabricator, a farm repair pro, or just someone who wants a reliable weather at home. This machine might surprise you. I ordered this from Amazon and they have sent with their own packaging. If I open it and remove the extra protective layer, then we can see our original welder packaging. Let's open it up and see what we get. If I remove the top cover, and then you can see there is several drop rollers in both U and V groups for different web sizes. Then we have got the welder itself, it's a little bit heavier than its look. Now let's check the white box, and there may be some extra cables. And finally the power adapter. Pretty complete kit, basically everything to start welding except the wire and gas. I have got NEMA 515 to IEC 320 AC13 power cord. They are also a powerful cooling fan. In the front there is huge LED display. MIG gun is huge, it can perfectly fit on my hand. Next is a gas hose, a ground clamp and other few important cables. So let's put them all on the welder. You can see in the back panel I put all the cables. Let me press the switch. Okay, it's on now. Oh, by the way, I did not able to connect the electron holder because there is no port left for this. Now let's load some gasless flux for wire. Open the holder panel by unscrew a knob. Remove the cover from the flat score. Now put the flat score on the holder and seal it with that knob screw. After perfectly tightening the screw, take a flat score wire with a nose plus and sharpen it by cutting its head and then put back his full gun nozzle. Put it accordingly so the automatic roller can pick it. If your finger unable to do its job then use the nose plus again. Today I am using 0.03 wire roller for this job. If you need this exact wire I have added an Amazon link in the description so you can grab the same one. After this we need to configure the gas flex flash screw welding gun. Unscrew both the ender for loading the wire. Press on the drive rod start and guide it up the linear into the gun. Then cut the excess wire for fitting with the ender. And now put back both the ender to complete the setup. And then you can start wiring. You can use multiple types of gasless flux core wire on this machine for your suitable projects. Don't worry, I will add them all in the description. On the front panel, you will see the digital display with controls for amperes, voltage and inductance. Inputs for your MIG gun, ground club and gas connection are neatly laid out. Next, connect the ground club to your workpiece, attach the MIG gun and plug the machine into either 110 or 220 volts. 
Set the mode knob to Synergic Mic if you want the welder to fine tune voltage and wire speed automatically. Or choose manual if you prefer full control. The LED readout makes adjustment quick and precise. To adjust the voltage, use hot star knob and both arc force buttons. It's quite easy, just follow my hand. Here's a quick bit using flux core on a motorcycle chain, a smooth arc, minimal splatter. If you want to switch to stick to lift stick, simply move the leads to the correct ports and select the process on the panel. No complicated rewiring, it's straightforward. And as we discussed, you can adjust the voltage from this front panel. Just use the hot star knob and others. Now I will show you stick welding so you can understand how this machine works smoothly. Now switch the cable from stick to lift stick. It's just simple as it is, just use an extra cable for the gas. Connect the gas wire with the spool gun. It can perfectly work with aluminium. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot to mention about the helmet. I'll put a link on the description so you can easily collect from there. So that's the ES Welder MiG 205 DSP. It's powerful, versatile, easy to use with a big display that beginners and pros will appreciate. If you are looking for one machine that handles most welding tasks without breaking the bank, this is a solid choice. Got questions? Drop them in the comment. I read them all. If you found this helpful, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for more honest tool reviews. Thanks for watching and happy welding.